Living outside one's passport nation allows for a different point of view of how stereotypes and prejudices can handicap better understandings between people of the world. Let's take a dive into how these ways of thinking manifest and how to avoid making the same mistakes over and over again in the future. Welcome to Four C's One Family. Welcome to Four C's One Family, where expats, immigrants, and migrants can share and learn about life experiences abroad. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm so, so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey, and welcome to the show. Every single one of us has the ability to show compassion towards our fellow human beings, regardless of the many countless obstacles placed before us. There is a need to construct cultural bridges to shorten the distances between common beliefs and mutual concerns. Global events daily on television, read online, and in newspapers causes us to develop a pessimistic view of the world. Large numbers of innocent people are suffering and dying for causes they believe will keep them from harm or simply prevent them from going into tyranny. People in many parts of the world may not even be aware of, care about, or understand what people on the other side of this blue ball in space are going through. And this casts a negative view that is being passed on to our children and future generations. This, in turn, is causing people all over the world to become suspicious, lose faith, feel insecure, and hopeless about their future. The constant destructive events that are the results of discrimination, fear, and intolerance affects everyone regardless of their location or social political status. Discrimination, fear, and intolerance have taken on the effects of incurable diseases that affects all of us on multiple levels that aren't easily detected or even described. The truth is, the side effects of discrimination, fear, and intolerance becomes multiplied over time. As a foreign national living abroad, or just a global citizen, you may one day find yourself in a situation where you feel you have become a victim of discrimination, fear, or intolerance. This is when you may begin to question the reasons why you have chosen to live outside of your home nation. Now, this can become a test to why you decided to live abroad. And for many of us, this can be quite depressing. Stereotypes and prejudices comes in all forms, shapes, and sizes, and are known by many different names. They often present themselves and hide under names like racism, xenophobia, anti-Semitism, romophobia, anti-gypsyism, and sexism. And no matter what the names are, they all have one thing in common, and that is to exclude or punish those who have different backgrounds, values, belief systems, and upbringings. They all lead to tensions, anxieties, insecurities, and often depression, and in some cases causes violence and endanger the lives of individuals. The result can be quickly and easily observed within our communities globally. However, the psychological symptoms of fear in particular aren't easily detected or monitored. Today, fear is a stimulus in the creation of many national policies and social practices. And sadly, many of the policies and practices are causing harm to people who don't possess financial or political power. Many of these policies discriminate against or suppress people of color, different political ideologies, sexual orientations, and religious views. Fear is just not benign. Fears are also directly responsible for the rise of social evangelists and politicians who propagate these beliefs to those who feel that they are losing control of their political power, wealth, social status, and freedoms. So, in an attempt to protect their own way of life, those with the power and wealth that harbor these fears and beliefs look for and develop legislative means to protect themselves from what they perceive as 
the types of people threatening their social, political, religious, and financial existence. Rules and regulations are made and amended to separate themselves at all levels from the offending groups. Now, many of you may think that I'm only talking about the recent events that are now taking place in the United States, Britain, or other Western nations. On the contrary, I want to also be known that these types of social suppressions can be observed in nations that have lesser global political and financial influences. Even in these nations, national and local law enforcement agencies are given the powers to suppress opposition by threatening, incarcerating, physically punishing, and in some cases, killing those who refuse to abide by the limitations placed upon them or just about anyone who is perceived as a threat to the privileged ruling class. Now, I've been promoting the overseas experience as a way to share, celebrate, and benefit from the unique differences and commonalities of the many cultures of the world. By inviting people to come and share their overseas experiences, other people from different parts of the world looking to experience life abroad may find the reason to tune in and learn that there isn't always a reason to challenge differences. I hope that they become curious about seeing other parts of the world and look forward to experiencing different cultures and learning other languages and in the end become exposed to people who have different backgrounds, beliefs, politics, and religions. By giving people a bit of exposure to the experiences of other people who have lived in different parts of the world, I hope that some developed a desire to make plans to explore similar paths. Now, this would lower the fear factor that some have developed and extinguish misunderstandings before they even set in. Now, it is a fact that when people experience life and live outside their home nation, they develop a more global understanding of the world because they can, at a personal level, understand that we all have more in common than we think. Collectively, we all need to accept differences for what they simply are instead of seeing differences as a tax on everything we were taught to believe. And the truth is, differences do exist between people. And let's face it, that some people will never be able to learn or accept living peacefully with others. There are many different things that prevent people from getting along, and things like greed and ideology can get in the way. Sure, there are people from all walks of life and cultures who want to purposely install reasons to fear and hate other groups of people, and this is unfortunate. They want to keep people from different backgrounds, belief, and cultures separated so they can't find common grounds. But thankfully, they aren't in a majority. Rather, the goal should be to foster lines of communications and respect. The good thing is, most people would would rather live in peace. Now, let's take a look at how some people in our host nation may feel about our home nation and its people. It soon becomes easy to understand why some people in our host nation feel the way they do about our home nation and its people, and this may include us. Now, whether true or not, we can see that much of what they think and feel about our home nation is based on local, social, and political perceptions about our nation stemming from tragic or unfair events that people in our host nation feel our home nation and its people are responsible for whether because of border disputes, war, sanction, or other negative occurrences, many people in our host nation may harbor a fear or even hate towards our home nation and its people. This may include us. As foreign nationals living abroad, we may never be able to change the minds of some people in our host nation, but we can, at the very least, show on a personal level that not all people from our home nation harbor the negative perceptions they were taught to be true. The only way to destroy ignorance is to show people on interpersonal levels that some things we were taught could be lacking some positive elements and reasoning. By doing so, 
This could cause some people to question some of their beliefs and start asking questions about why they believe some of the things they do. All cultures have positive aspects and merits. It is hoped that this could lead to some honest dialogue that shows that people everywhere are really concerned about the same things. For example, I've shown to people in the local population around me that not all African Americans are thieves or like to cause trouble. I've also shown that people who look like me can be good at languages, sciences, and the arts, and at the same time suck at playing basketball. In other words, I'm showing them that we really do have a lot more in common than we think. Now, my little platform will not change the world on a major level, but it can help create some dialogue and raise awareness that we all have to face both in our host and home nations. I hope that my fellow foreign nationals facing negative experiences abroad can eventually overcome the pressures placed upon them. I hope that the points I just raised can help those living abroad, especially under stressful situations, understand that they still may be able to show the people they are living among that they really aren't that much different. Maybe at least some people we interact with will try to see our differences as an opportunity to learn more about one another. My questions to you today are, while living abroad, what issues that relate to you as a foreign national or just a citizen of the world you are facing or had to face regarding discrimination, fear, and ignorance? What did you do to lessen the impact of these types of stereotypes and prejudices? And what advice would you give to those who are living abroad and may be facing these types of situations? Please leave a comment below if you have anything you would like to say or share concerning this topic. And if you found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to show that we really do have a lot more in common than we think. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan, and remember to take care wherever you are in the world.